Oh my god, it's Noodle Wednesday. Almost forgot. That means I am going to get an extra hour of sleep. Hey guys, I was about to go to bed, just took my shower, and then realized, oh my god, I didn't make a video. So I hopped up on here. Basically, today was another good training day. We did some fun like parkour stuff in the morning, and that was a lot of fun, and I sucked at it. Failed, busted my leg, but it's not bad. It's like just a couple bruises and scrapes, but it was a lot of fun because I like doing stuff that I can't do because it just gives me stuff to improve on and see where I'm at too. Um, Tucker's leaving tomorrow and that's sad, but he's the last one. So no more after that until, you know, like next month, which is basically in one day. So come to the end of my fourth month here. Got eight more. Got a long way to go. Journey never ends. That was so lame. Um, had a really nice talk tonight. Had so much fun with Andreas, getting to know him because he's going to be here the whole time. So that was really nice to get to know him a little bit better. He's such a rad dude. And he came over here and we talked about traumas and Tucker was there too. And it was like we had this nice bonding time before class. And yeah, so I didn't lift anything tonight like I had planned and was actually really excited to do. But I thought getting to know people is important too. And because Tucker's leaving and Andres is gonna... Uh, Andreas. Sorry, I always want to call him Andres. Andreas is going to be here for a while. It was fun. It was cool. So yeah. Oh, I guess biggest news today. I'm missing a toenail. Okay, that came out of left field, but it is on my right foot. I'm gonna show you. I know it's kind of gross, whatever, um, but I'm missing a toenail because I had to pull it off. The weirdest thing happened. I just like, why does, why does my toenail look so like foggy? If that's a way to describe what a toenail could look like, foggy, not clear, I can't see underneath it. Went to go clean my toes and the skin grew over it like on top of it so I couldn't get underneath of the nail and it was super soft and I'm like the fuck is this so I literally had to cut to get underneath and then once I got there none of it was attached and it didn't hurt okay it did not hurt it was really actually like like a loose tooth like that kind of a feeling but for my fucking toenail and I'm like what do I do with this and so I pulled it off because I thought I didn't want to grow back, right? Hope so. But it doesn't hurt. And I feel like, I'm going to show you. You can't, you probably can't even tell. Sorry if you're grossed out by feet. Like, get over it. It's this one. You can't even tell. But, like, that has a nail. And that does not have one. <laughs> There's a nail. And that is not a nail. So, that's going on with my feet. But... It doesn't hurt. I think it's from running. Has that ever happened to you ever? Maybe I'll Google it to see if it's normal, but I feel like it's just from my shoes and running up against, just pushing up against the barrier of the shoe itself. And maybe with the heat and the friction, having my socks on and workout stuff all day long actually softens up the tissue or the carotene or like whatever. It makes it really soft and maybe yeah, you want hard, strong nails. That's what they tell you. So they were getting not strong and they weren't holding. Is that a thing? What's going on here? Just made a claw on my head. Um, hair is still wet. And that looks terrifying. Kind of like my hair is a Hitler mustache. Okay, that fell. You know what? I think that's time for, for us today. That's all I got for you. Me and the sloths sloth family. I will, of course, talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mwah. Side chat.